everybody. We're leaving lands down. Oh, is that a possum? Nah, right. Mr. Raccoon didn't make it. Sorry. Oh. Anyway, I got stung by a bee last night. So I'm making a video about it because I think the devil is a liar. And I need y'all to pray for me because <laughs> I cried like a baby. And I almost panicked. I did panic. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> oh man. But the Lord was with me. My husband threw me the first aid and then you hung up our tent and left me there. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to see my sting because it was on the outside of my ankle, on my leg with the knee brace and I'm sitting in the ground where there's barely any sunlight left trying to medicate myself but I did and I made it through the night and I slept all right oh look at that uh, spider web Josh Joshua look at the spider web can you see it that spider's big yeah and now we are leaving Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, headed to Chester Heights, to the diner. Oh my goodness, look. We could have camped out right down there. And we slept on a hill, which I never want to do again. Oh, well, they have an electric car. That's an electric car. It's plugged in. So we're, we're on our way to Media, Pennsylvania later. Make our way there. Check that out. And it's actually a really nice morning. Yeah, we definitely gotta get better. Yeah. A what? Yeah, we we found a park. It's called Shrigley's Park. But Shrigley must have been like the name of the people who lived there or something. But it was on a hill. And it is not the quintessential park <laughs> that, you, that you would want to camp at. It was, yellow jackets sleeping around and you go walking and they just get mad at you and you zap you. Shout out to my friend Victoria because she wished that bumblebee dead or yellow jacket dead. I said I got stung by a bee. She said I hope he died. Well in the glimpse of a second, I did see that he was struggling. And I felt a little bad for him because I do think I disturbed him. But yesterday we had a really good day walking. And even though there were some videos that we posted, um, oh, hello puppy. Uh-oh, <laughs> is he a jumper? Hi, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Hi, friend. I don't stick my hand in other people's fences. He, he totally couldn't jump that fence, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beware of cute little dog who wants to play. Um... Smell a skunk. We met like a dozen people walking yesterday from Center City to Lansdowne. 
and people were just like talking to us and I think it's the walking poles and then they're just like are you guys gonna go climb the Rockies and we say no we're walking to Texas they go wait a minute you're what you would see it if I got it on video but normally whenever I'm filming we don't meet anybody and then when I shut the camera off it's as if they are all just coming out so pray for this one gentleman what was his name Mel uh, the gentleman with the beer yeah yeah his name was Mel he's like 58 and he's struggling with drinking and he was asking us for a dollar and then Josh said, what's in your bag? And he said, oh, I got a couple beers. He was asking for a dollar to pay his rent. He's a well-dressed man and he works at a really nice grocery store. But uh, he's just going through some things. So we were talking to him and we ended up not having a dollar for him. And well, I think Josh did have a dollar, but he didn't give it to him. We prayed. Yeah, he would have bought more beer. We prayed for him. And it was actually a very good moment because he does know the Lord and he needs to go back and talk to him, get some help. He wants to go to uh, detox and he's just concerned about how he's going to pay his rent when he goes. So pray that. Wow, you like a challenge, huh, Josh? <laughs> we pray we pray that the Lord helps him and guides him where he needs to go. And I don't have a doubt that we were supposed to be there to meet him. And then we stopped to fix Josh's shoe and I found a dollar on the ground. So Then we gave it to another man down the street who also may go buy beer with it, but his name was, uh, what was his name? Skippy. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll go buy some peanut butter. <laughs> so. Lansdowne is a pretty neat area. Probably if we had walked down here, we would have found another place to camp, but we were literally cutting it close. We met a very nice family uh, on the way down this very big hill, and we stopped to talk with them and their son, and then we all prayed together as well. But then by the time we got down the hill, it was nightfall. And <laughs> it's interesting because the more we walk like into the suburbs, the more people wave to us and want to talk to us. <laughs> but when you're in the city, when people in the city are just so rushed about everything and you guys out in the city, you need to take a chill and just let it go. Be friendly. Smile a little more. Cut back on the, the drinking and going out at night and wake up in the morning and sit out on your front step and say hello to your neighbors. Because it's very peaceful when you do. It must be redoing pipes or something. Or that earthquake must have gotten it. Water erosion. Water can do some damage. Yeah, but it's crooked. My leg doesn't enjoy crooked too much. Hey, okay, I'm just thankful that I survived my first bee sting ever in my life. Maybe when I was a baby I got stung, but I don't remember. 
And I'll tell you what, I'm glad that I don't remember because I don't even want to remember the one that I got stung last night. And then Josh woke up saying he didn't sleep good because he was sleeping on the hill. Wow, look at these berries are like rainbow. Don't, do it. don't touch it. Whoa. They look like jelly beans. They look like um, little rainbow potatoes. <laughs> Uh, see? I wonder what that is. Huh. So here's the creek. Oh, there's a little pigeon down there. Oh, there's two little pigeons down there. I was watching the pigeons. <laughs> the lovebirds. Yep. So once we get our actual Instagram account set back up, we'll be able to do more live streaming in the moment. I did do a live stream on the other Roll His Way 2 page, but I kind of want to keep everything on the one page so I'm not so discombobulated. Thursday, I think, so. Good, man. What are you hey. doing? Hey, is it October 1st? Yeah. 10-1-2020. 10-1-2020. Climbing a hill. Climbing a hill. Pumpkin. another woman yesterday in Center City. Her name is Beverly. And she's on disability and she's homeless. And she has a very cute service dog. And she came up to us and asked for prayer. She's having a hard time finding housing. So keep her in your prayers. She has several community programs helping her trying to find something, but it keeps falling through. So. Lord, what are you doing with these hills here? He said there's many more to come? Oh, man. I feel like I'm walking backwards on an escalator.
way to a diner. So it said about 20 minutes. That is the kind of grass that I like. Like soft, natural grass. I don't like that grass that grows in thick patches and stuff. It hurts your feet. Don't walk. Well, trying to look all in all my directions. turn into a, you mean a yellow jacket? Clifton? Yeah. Josh says the yeah. Oh, he saw the sign.
that the name you thought was funny? Isn't that the name you and Neil were like talking about was funny? No. Oh, our our. <laughs> Pull it up on the map for you guys. Y'all guys can tell us what it says. Ooh, right. I see the word diner. Hallelujah. Could have camped right there. a gold medal for breakfast.